Ordinary to Extraordinary. When I first read this as the title for a book that I was asked to participate in, I immediately got hit with a massive case of imposter syndrome. I've never been even ordinary, never mind extraordinary. Imposter syndrome is defined as feelings of inadequacy that persist despite evident success. Chronic self-doubt, a sense of intellectual fraudulence that override any feelings of success or external proof of their, of their competence. So that pretty much sums it up for me. It's amazing how our heads can give us that profound sense of I can't, uh, even when we're proven time and time again that certainly we can. I guess for me, it might stem back to, you know, grade school where I was consistently chosen among the last to be on all of the gym teams. Or maybe it was junior high when I was a wasn't able to complete a 1.25 kilometer run uh, and had to walk it with the other unfit girl. Um, or it could have been in high school when every guy that I thought was super cute came to me and asked if he could talk to me in private, but was inevitably going to ask me about one of my friends and not me. I learned quite young that I wasn't among the smartest, the fittest, the fastest, the prettiest, the funniest, the one most likely to make friends. I was less ordinary than almost any other person I knew. So I guess when real estate came into my life, I just never thought that I was one that could ever achieve, achieve something so cool. And uh, it really took me over a decade to even begin to try um, because of that fear. Um, many moons later, it took that long to become successful at um, you know what some would call successful at real estate. So the funny thing is that there's lots of us out there and I wonder if you're not one. We have what it takes, we just can't maybe see it in ourselves. So are you one?